Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to make a pancho. And you can make this into any length you want. For this project, I use four different colors and two types of yarns. They are from the friends family from Hobby. The extra fine merino. This is a number two category yarn. Kit silk is in the zero category. The links are in the description box if you want to learn more about it. This color, I only used it a little bit. The other three, you need two of each. A four millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, and lastly, measuring tape. To begin the project, make a slip knot. Insert the hook. And make a chain in multiple of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The chain measures from elbow to elbow. I'm making a chain of 162, which is about 33 inches. At the end of the chain, add two more chains. One, two, total 164. Start on the second chain from hook, that's this one. Turn to the back. In the little bump here, place a single crochet. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Then single crochet into the next chain. Again, single crochet into the next chain and single crochet into every chain. Total, 163 stitches. And we'll be working with 163 stitches throughout the pattern. To begin row two, three chains. One, two, three. Place a marker into the third chain, and this counts as a double crochet. Add one more chain, total four chains. Turn, And we're going to skip the next two stitches. Then in the next stitch, make a pop stitch. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the seam stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert into the seam stitch for the last time, pull up a loop, and yarn over, pull through all the loops from the hook. One chain, two close. Another one chain, so basically two chains here. In the same stitch, pop stitch. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the second time, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert into the third time, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all the loops from the hook. One chain, to close. Three chains. One, two, three. Then skip one, two, three, four, five. In the next stitch, pop stitch. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert for the second time. And yarn over, insert into the third time. Yarn over, pull through all the loops from the hook. One chain, two close, another one chain. In the same stitch, pop stitch. One chain, two close, three chains. One, two, three. Skip one, two, three, four, five. Pop stitch. Insert once, insert twice, and insert three times. 
one chain to close, another one chain, and another puff stitch into the same stitch. One chain to close, and this is a repeat. Repeat this all the way to the end. At the end of the wool, one chain to close, another one chain, three stitches left, skip the next two stitches, in the last stitch, double crochet. And you'll notice there are extra stitches if you include all the chains, so I don't count the stitches here. One chain, cut yarn. To begin row three, turn your work, insert new working yarn into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, single crochet. Two chains. One, two. In the chain space here, single crochet. Two chains. One, two. And the next part, we'll be working two rows down which is on row one here. In the middle stitch, which is the third stitch, place a double crochet. Two chains, one, two, single crochet. Two chains, one, two, and double crochet into two rows down, into the third stitch. Two chains, one, two, single crochet, two chains, and double crochet, two rows down, and repeat this all the way to the end. At the end of row three, out of the last single crochet, two chains, and single crochet into the third chain where the marker is. And now we're back with a total of 163 stitches. To begin row four, one chain, Turn, single crochet into the first stitch, two chains, one, two, skip two, single crochet into the single crochet stitch, two chains, skip two, single crochet into the double crochet stitch, two chains, skip two, single crochet into the single crochet stitch, two chains, Skip two and single crochet into the double crochet stitch and repeat this all the way to the end. To begin row five, one chain, turn, single crochet in the two chain space, place two single crochet, one, two, single crochet. In the chain space, two single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet, and repeat this all the way to the end. To begin row six, three chains. Place the marker in the third chain. Add one more chain, total four chains and turn. Skip the next two stitches. In the next stitch, place a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert once, insert twice, insert three times, yarn over, pull through all the loops, 
one chain to close, another one chain, and a seam stitch, place another pop stitch. One chain to close, three chains. Skip five stitches. Pop stitch. Basically, this is the repeat of row two. At the end of row 6, after the last pop stitch, one chain to close, another one chain, skip two stitches, and double crochet into the last stitch. One chain, a yarn. To begin row 7, insert yarn into the first stitch. One chain in the same stitch, single crochet, two chains, single crochet into the chain space, two chains, and we're going to work two rows down on row five. In the third stitch, place a double crochet, two chains. Single crochet, two chains, and double crochet into the third stitch, two rows down on row five. And this is a repeat. From here, we're repeating row two to row five until row eleven. I change color on row seven and row eleven, and I meet you on row twelve. This is the end of row eleven, and I made three rows of pop stitches. To begin row twelve, Turn, insert new working yarn into the first stitch, pull through, one chain to begin, single crochet into the same stitch, two chains, skip two single crochet into the single crochet stitch, two chains. Skip two single crochet into the double crochet stitch, two chains. This is the repeat of row four, and repeat this all the way to the end. To begin row 13, one chain, cut yarn, turn. Insert new working yarn into the first stitch. Three chains, and this counts as a double crochet stitch. In the chain space, place two double crochet. One. Two, one chain, skip one, two double crochet in the chain space, one chain, skip one, two double crochet. Repeat this all the way to the end. At the end of the row, out of the two double crochet stitches, place a double crochet into the last stitch. One chain, cut yarn. To begin row 14, insert new working yarn into the first stitch. One chain, 
in the space in between the first and the second stitch, single crochet, two chains. Skip two in the chain space, single crochet, two chains. Skip two, single crochet, two chains. Skip two, single crochet, two chains. Skip two and single crochet. And this is the VP. At the end of the wall, two chains. Skip two and place a single crochet into the space in between the last two stitches. One chain. Cut yarn. Turn your work. Insert new working yarn into the first stitch. Three chains. In the chain space, two double crochet. One chain. Skip one. Two double crochet into the chain space. One chain. Skip one. Two double crochet into the chain space. This is the repeat of wall 13. For the rest of the pattern, is the repeat of wall 13 and wall 14. I stopped when it measures about 17 inches. My last wall is the two double crochet, one chain, two double crochet, one chain. And made another piece that's exactly the same. Dirt is in the right side or the wrong side. So pick a side that you want to be facing the outside. And I'm going to use this side on the outside. And this side in the inside. When you place them on top of each other, make sure the inside are facing each other. At the top here, leave about 10 inches or whatever size you want for the head and mark it with stitch markers. Then we're going to crochet the two layers together from the outside of this end towards the inside. Attach a piece of yarn into the first stitch of both layers. One chain. In the same stitch, slip stitch. One chain. In the next stitch. Make sure you're taking both layers. Slip stitch. One chain. Slip stitch. One chain. Repeat this all the way to where the marker is. I actually crochet both ends at the same time. So this way, I'm able to adjust the center. Once you have figured out the right fit, we're going to separate the two layers. And we're going to place a single crochet into every stitch. Or in the round and meet at the same point here. After the last stitch, cut yarn with a yarn needle, insert into the next stitch, then fasten off. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.